Hey there, Maniacs viewers. Let's do a little versus action this morning. I figure we will do the uh, Tissas Sagana PX9 versus the Taurus G3. Pretty similar. Let's get it on with it. But anyway, y'all are watching the main man channel. Not just the name, it's the way of life. You got to improvise, adapt, and overcome each and every day just to make it in this cool old world. I appreciate y'all watching. Please make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Check me out on Parlor, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, OogeTube, GunStreamer, GunTube, Gab. Appreciate all the support there. I'm also on Getter, and if you feel called to, check me out on Patreon. I can always use that help, folks. Also, there is a Glock 19 giveaway going on for whenever I reach 10,000 subscribers 50 years from now. And uh, there's also a October monthly knife giveaway going on and uh, links for those will be in the description and they'll be in the comments real easy to sign up for them let's do it so we, we will be shooting Callaway Ballistics 115 grain total metal jacket remanufactured today in both pistols I have eye protection on them and I have ear protection these are the uh, actual GS Extreme earbuds okay so that being said, we have the Tissas Zagana PX9, 18 plus 1 capacity, and I've only got 18 in it, but, uh, and we also have the Taurus G3, and it's got 15 round mags, okay? So, what we're going to do is... We're going to do a group test real quick. I'm going to shoot the Taurus G3 at the uh, big blue plate for 15 yards. Five shot group. See how I do. And then we'll shoot the Tissas Zagana PX9 uh, against the uh, Timmy Bobby down there. He, uh, both of them got uh, fresh coatings of uh, blue paint on them. So we'll see which one gets the better group. And then we're going to shoot some saving cream. Now, when we shoot the shaving cream, I'm going to step up to 10 yards, okay? <laughs> so, just so you all know. But uh, everything else will be 15 yards. After we've done the uh, group test at 15 yards, the shaving cream test at 10 yards, we'll back back up to 15 yards, and we will do a steel test with the rest of the mag. Here we go. First up, towards G3. Shoot the big blue plate. We had one a little bit high, and we had one off a little bit high to the right, but we got a pretty good group with it. Now let's do the, uh, the top. All righty. We'll be shooting Timmy Bobby with the PX9. I couldn't remember if I fired five or not on that one, so we fired another one. I know we at least got five on there. All right, so that being said, let's take a look at the groups. Okay, folks. So with our uh, Taurus G3, we got three right there in a pretty good tight group, and then we got one a little bit high to the right. So I was aiming about right there, actually. And then we got one a little bit high up here. The three of them grouped real tight. All right, now, with our Tassasagana PX9, I couldn't remember if I fired 
five or six, so I know I definitely got five on there if I fired six, but anyway. Uh, our group was kind of a little bit better. I mean, it uh, looks like about two in the same place over to the right. And it's just, it held a little bit tighter group. But now I was having, the, my hole was about right here. So it is shooting quite a bit left. Both firearms, me, I shoot a little bit left with these. It is what it is. I shoot a little bit left with pretty much everything. But uh, I've kind of proved that that Tissasagana, when you put it on the bench rest, it shoots a little bit more dead center then. Uh, still shoots a little left, but you know it is what it is. I quit rambling on about that. But uh, I think the uh, Tissas won the group on this one. Well, okay, folks. So I believe the Tissas won the group test. Now let's do the shaving cream test. I will be stepping up to 10 yards for that. Okay, folks, we'll be shooting the red shaving cream on the left from 10 yards with the Taurus G3. It took two. It took two. And, uh, my pool got hit by the shaving cream. <laughs> First time for that to happen. Oh well. The uh, to sock. We hit it, but it didn't explode. We got it that time. And that was a good little explosion. But, think about it is, we know the G3 definitely won the shaving cream test. Alright, so let's do the steel test. Since I've already got the test sauce in my hand, we're going to do it with the test sauce. We'll be shooting for 15. Come on, Tissas, don't make me look mad. Hit Timmy Bobby. We missed Randy. Missed the red one. What about the blue one? Missed him. What about the white one? Ooh. Not good. Well. We'll count that as the white one. So we've hit, hit two so far. Try the blue one. Nope. All right. We've only hit two. We didn't hit the blue one. Let's take a try. See if we can hit that white one hanging. I think we missed the white one and hit the red one. We're going to count it. We'll say you got three. Let's try that bottom red one. Got him. What about a groundhog? <laughs> missed him. Okay. So, that being said, giving him the benefit of the doubt, we got three. I'm going to have to move the sights on these th things a little bit. But we'll do that in bonus footage. All right. So that being said, Taurus P3, let's see what we got on him. Give me Bobby. 
about little Randy? How about the rebel? Got him. That's two blue ones. Silhouette. Got him. That's three. Little red one, come on. Got him. Four. White one, we're not, we're going to heads up. Got the white one. The blue one. Six. Man, that toy Q3 is just on. That's all you can say about him. He is just on. That's that top red one. Right, what about that groundhog? Alright, so we only missed two out of one, two, three. We only missed two out of twelve. We hit ten out of twelve with the G3. I'd say she's pretty well on, and I say the G3 won today. But I'm a little bit pointed, disappointed in that Tassant. Folks, I'm going to drop this mag, clear it, and I'm going to try to move him sights a little bit and see if we can't get him shooting a little bit more the point of aim. Okay, folks, I put some more paint on Timmy Bobby. He got me a screwdriver. I did some adjusting on the Tassas. We're going to fire a couple and see if that helps him. Here we go. I'm going to aim dead center of mass. And see where it's hit. That's a lot better. That's a heck of a lot better. All right. So, I'm going to take and I'm going to see if I can hone it in a little bit more. Take my time on, the, on three more. I'm going to try to hit little Randy. Still can't hit little Randy. That ain't making no sense. Let me try this blue plate. better. Let's try a little Randy again. I don't know why it's not hitting little Randy. Seems to be shooting quite a bit low. I'm going to raise it up some. Okay, folks. I put three in here. I raised this thing up quite a bit. It's probably going to be too much. Let's see what we got. Aiming dead center mass on Timmy Bobby. That seems better. It seems better. All right, I put four in here. I'm going to see if I can't tag little Randy. Tag him. What about that little red one? Tag him. The blue one? 
Mom, still wet? That's better. All right. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to grab three more rounds, load them up. I'm going to put a, put a fresh coat of paint on Timmy Bobby. We're going to shoot a three round group. And uh, I'm going to be aiming right center mass, right here, high chest area, right here. He's got a little hook holder right there. I'm going to be aiming just a little bit under that. And uh, let's see how it looks now, because I think we got it on. Okay, folks, we are attempting to shoot a great group. And I think we can for 15 yards with this Tissos. This is just all bonus footage, the Taurus G3 won today. But I still wasn't quite sure that we couldn't get that to sauce a little bit more dialed in. And now we do. All right. So, Amy, center mass. Three perfect shots. Come on. Not satisfied with that. I'm putting three more in there. No. Not satisfied at all with that. We missed one and then the We can do better than that. All right, hold on, because we've been hitting that steel with it. All right, that's better. That's better. Let's go down there and take a look. Well, folks, as you can see right there, those two that are more to the left, that was that first try I tried with it. It just didn't, it didn't G and haul. But that second try, that's those threes more to the right. Two of them hit almost point eight, maybe just a hair left. And then the other one was a little bit left, but it was still kind of what I was going for. I'm going to call that good, because with that adjustment, I nailed little Randy. I nailed that red one, that one, that one, that red one. Folks, uh, she was hitting steel like crazy. So I'm going to say that's good right there. I mean, I, I think messing with it anymore, it's just not worth it. I think we got it about where it needs to be. Well, folks, we're going to wrap it up right there. The Taurus G3 versus the Zagana PX9. Uh, we're going to give the slight edge to the Taurus G3. Uh, it seemed to outperform, but we didn't have this, still didn't have this Zagana PX9 up to snuff as far as where she needed to shoot. Now we do. And, uh, I can tell you folks, I, I highly recommend both of these firearms, and especially this one from Turkey, especially since Biden is trying to, has banned Russian firearms and ammunition, I mean, he's probably going to ban the import of guns from Turkey, so if you see one of these, and you see it cheap, you might want to pick it up, they're about three, you know, You'll find them new anywhere three to four hundred dollars on the high end. You'll probably uh, you'll find them uh, used probably anywhere from two to three. I got this one for two two thirty five. I've seen them as low as uh, two fifty new sometimes. So definitely, I recommend this one, and definitely I recommend this one. I give three even for this one, and you see these Taurus G threes. Uh, from three to four new every day, I recommend you pick one up. Uh, a lot of times you'll see them on sale for three. 
So I'm gonna leave it right there, folks. We're gonna say the Taurus G3. I like it slightly better. But now that we got this tour of this uh, Zagana PX9 sighted in, it might have been a different story if we'd have done that before we filmed this video. But uh, sorry about the sun in y'all's eyes. Thank y'all, and I'll catch you next time.